Hi everyone, it's Marianne and welcome to my Wasteless Life. In this video, I'm going to share with you my IKEA greenhouse glass cabinet. So the IKEA greenhouse cabinet is a trend. It's been going on in the plant community, basically turning an IKEA glass cabinet into a indoor greenhouse. And I've been looking into getting an indoor greenhouse or grow tent, but you know my room is very small. I keep most of my plants in my bedroom and a grow tent or an indoor greenhouse is just very unsightly. Also, it's made of plastic and I try not to use as many plastic as I can, especially in my plant hobby. And also when that gets dirty, it's kind of like, you know, the shower curtains when the calcium and dirt is built up on it, it's very hard to remove the dirt off that plastic. So I didn't really want to get that one. I was going to try to DIY one, but it just seems too much of a work. And then I saw Jolene's video on her doing her IKEA greenhouse glass cabinet, which is the first time I've heard about this trend and then I saw another video by Pantier Decorator. I'll link her video up here and also down in the description as well as Jolene's. She went through like everything about it and how she set up hers and there's also an Instagram account called IKEA Greenhouse Cabinet I believe. I'll also link it down in the description where you can see the different ways people have repurposed their IKEA glass cabinet into an indoor greenhouse and I got the Detolf one. This is the cheapest one among the IKEA glass cabinet and if you are in search for this one I'm telling you right now they're very hard to find because all of them are sold out and as you will see in my vlog of me buying this Detolf IKEA glass cabinet everything was pretty much sold out and this one is $60 this is the cheapest one everything else is like over a hundred dollars and that's not within my budget but and this one is also just a perfect size for my bedroom and I can fit so many plants in it but yeah let's get on with the video I'm gonna show you the vlog of me at Ikea and then setting up this greenhouse cabinet and then we're gonna talk more about it slight left then your destination will be on the left gotta wear a mask and the closest ikea to me it's in college park maryland i haven't been here since college because i went to university of maryland which is like a few streets away from here i want this chandelier lamp in my room but i already switch up to a track light. Nice one to hang plants on. So this one is $9.99 each so it's not bad and you could just like stack them up as much as you want. So in the IKEA greenhouse glass cabinet they put this at the back to be able to hang plants so I think that's a good idea so I might get one too. Here is one of the glass cabinet the fabric core and it's a $169 this one is out of stock though, but that's too expensive for me. And this is the other one. I think this is the same one Jolene got and it's $169 as well. This one is also nice too, but it's $149. And this one, I think this is still like the most famous one, but it's $199 also out of stock. This one is the white version. This is the one that I wanted and it's perfect but it says out of stock but um, the website says it's in stock so I don't know I'm gonna go check. Showroom says out of stock but it's still available in the bins. There is one set here and I got the other set here. <laughs> oh, thank god. So just make sure there's this one and this is two, yeah, because it comes in two packages. Yeah, let me go check out. Cute guy also helped me load this. Oh, I got it. I'm gonna go check out now. 
So I was able to get the glass cabinet that I wanted. It said it was temporarily out of stock, but luckily I checked the bin anyways, and I still found like two of them. So I'm really excited. I guess I'll see you back at my home when I am assembling this glass cabinet. So a few days later, after I got the IKEA Detail glass cabinet, I'm ready to set it up. I finally brought it up to my room with the help of my sister. It, it is very heavy, so you really need two person to carry it hopefully I'll be able to assemble it on my own I think I can but it's just like carrying it was just too heavy so here's the IKEA Detail they divided into two packages but I just bought one glass cabinet and I took out my vanity slash work table and the plant shelf that I had in here so that I have some space to assemble this and I'll figure out later on how am I going to arrange it but I think I'm just going to Put it there for now or i might put it over here because i eventually would put led lights in it but i think i'm going to put it there for now so that it can still get some natural sun because i'm going to be filling up with plants Okay, so I got the frame up already. That took a lot longer than necessary. I have to put the glass panels now, but I'm gonna need help with that. So I'm gonna ask my sister to help me with that. And I'll get back to you once we have the glass panels app. So I was able to install the door already. But this part is like giving me trouble because as you can see, it's not properly fit in and I can screw on top. I don't think it should matter because the other three was able to tighten, but we will see. But almost there. Well, I turned the shelf sideways because when I open the door, I want it to just be leaning on the wall and not hitting like if it's this way or if it's like over here, it would hit the window. And as you know, I have a dog and he likes to run around in my room because this is really more of his room than my room. So I kind of wanted to make this as safe as possible for him and for my plants as well. And also because I'm going to need ventilation for this one. I haven't bought like a mini fan that I can put inside. So I would most likely be opening the door to have some air circulation. So I think having it sideways is great. So the great thing about this IKEA glass cabinet is it is glass all the way through. Like the back is still glass, which is great. I mean, there's like some weather stripping over here, which is not really that visible especially after I put like a trilling plant over here it will cover that up so no worries but yeah so I am gonna put in the shelves and gonna add some plants so I'm thinking of transferring all of these plants in here we will see um, if I can actually do that but let's see This Cebu Blue is not loving its new home, but we'll figure it out. So brought some more plants. This is my reverted manchula that I just propagated. And 
I got a Calathea. Yes, I got a Calathea. Calathea is in like my band plants list, but when I was at Plants Alive, I saw this. It was really pretty. And knowing that I'm going to have this IKEA greenhouse cabinet, maybe I could try to experiment with Calatheas and see how well I do with them. And I was going to buy it, but the owner gave it to me for free. So yeah, so thanks to Jeff from Plants Alive for this Calathea. So I'm not going to do a very thorough tour of the greenhouse. I am going to do my fall plant collection really soon and I'm just going to make it a part of that. But here's an overview of it. But yeah, so I've fed so many plants. My original plant shelf, the boho wicker shelf, is now empty. It has like two plants right now. And I'm really happy about that because winter is coming and space is always an issue for me during winter time and i know i accumulated additional plants this year even though i tried hard not to buy as many plants i don't think i did buy as many plants this year but we'll see once i do my fall plant collection video see how many plants i actually have i keep thinking that i only have 50 maybe 60 plants now but i won't be surprised if it's a little bit more than that now and the way they set up the IKEA greenhouse cabinet, if you look through the Instagram account, some of them put scadis or pegboard at the back so that they could have more space. Some take off shelves so that they could put like taller plants. But I thought the height between the shelves is actually pretty good. I was able to fit in some of my slightly taller plants like my Syngoniums and my Ficus Audrey, my Monstera, Adansoni and such. So I might still take out one shelf later on because I might put in some other plants that I'm still propagating downstairs in the heat mat. I'm also thinking of maybe moving the heat mat at the bottom shelf, but I'm not gonna do that until I install some LED grow lights. Now, being in this corner of my room next to the south facing window, as you can see, it still receives a lot of bright light. And some of them also add weather strips just to make it really sealed. But I don't find it necessary because this too is kind of already like seal it and at the door I don't really need it that much. As far as like humidity, some also insert humidifiers inside but I don't think I'm going to need to put a humidifier because like I said this is the smaller IKEA glass cabinet and I have this many plants, they're going to create their own humidity and I don't want to increase the humidity way too high too because it might cause rotting. And I have different types of plants here that have different types of humidity level needs. So I just want them to create their own ecosystem, create their own humidity. And I'm gonna keep the door open during the day as much as I can because air circulation in this situation is important. I agree with Plantier Decorator. Before lighting, before humidity, the most important thing for this one is air circulation so take care of that before anything else if you want to do something like this as well and like i said the ikea glass cabinet is hard to find right now if you go to ikea if you lock out you might still get it but another great place to find this is the facebook marketplace a lot of other people found their ikea glass cabinet or something like this it doesn't have to be ikea they found it on Facebook Marketplace and you get it for a lot cheaper too. And also try thrift stores, you might be able to find it in the thrift store as well. But yeah, so that is my Kia greenhouse cabinet. Let me know what you think, if you think this is a cool idea, because I think it is. Because it's so much better than getting a grow tent or an indoor greenhouse that's made of like plastic. This looks more aesthetic. This looks more presentable, especially if you have a small space where everything is in display. But yes, I just want to share this because when I found out about this trend, I thought it was such a really, really good idea and the perfect solution that I've been looking for to have some type of an indoor greenhouse slash grow tent in my space that doesn't occupy a lot of space but could hold a lot of plants. And this one I bought, I'm pretty sure half of my plant collection is inside this IKEA glass cabinet. And that is saying something. I think all of my small to not so small plants are in here. The only ones that are not in here are either they're already hanging up on my wall or are my bigger plants. So I'm really happy about that. This is such a space saver, such a lifesaver calm winter time. But yes, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're new here, I hope you subscribe. I come up with houseplants and sustainable lifestyle videos every week. And if you haven't yet, go check out these videos up here until my next one. But until then, I see you. I appreciate you. Take care of yourself and each other and have a plentiful day. Bye.